Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My last video was my 2023 skincare opening inventory. Today we are doing my 2023 skincare usage goals. So going through all of those products category by category and pulling out the ones that I am going to attempt to use up this year. And then at the end of the video, I will come back and specify my overall goals for skincare as a whole in 2023 and how I want that to have changed by the end of this year so let's get on into it i only have one eye makeup remover so i am perfectly happy with where that category is sitting at if i finish this this year i would replace it so not expecting this category to move just obviously now that it's at one i don't want it to grow the same goes for this second category face makeup removers i have two one is micellar water one is makeup removing balm and i like to have both these options so if i finish either of these this year i would replace them probably with the exact same items so I just again want this category to stay the same and not to grow. Cleanser is when it starts to get a bit bigger. So I have got 19 cleansers. Straight off the bat here, I'm going to say I'd like to try and use 10 this year. I'd like to get it down to single figures. I am probably not going to go through 10 on my face. First of all, I'm going to take out these two Kiehl's ones. Now, these are two of the oldest ones on my inventory. They're from 2016. So I would want them out based on that anyway. But I don't actually like these on my face. They make my skin feel quite tight. So I'm going to actually try and use them up. I'm going to replace my shower gels with these cleansers and use them as body cleansers just to get them moved out. I've got less shower gel than I do face cleanser so I feel like I can afford shower gel to take a back seat and let me get some of these used up. The same actually goes for this Fen Effect cleanser, it's a pore minimising cleanser and again it just leaves my skin feeling quite tight and I don't really enjoy it on my face so although this is actually quite a new cleanser I'm going to also put that with these two and try and use the three of them as body cleansers. So that's three immediately so I need to pick another seven to try and concentrate on. Going by age, two Eve Long cleansers are from 2016 so I'd quite like to try and use them up. These two are also from 2016 so I'll keep access to them to try and use them up. And the last one that is from 2016 and one of the oldest ones, this is the full size of the Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. So that gives me three here and five here, which is eight. So if I want to finish ten, I need to select another two. Now I have been using this Clarins one. It is quite near its end. I think I'll put that in because I feel like I can probably finish that in the month of January. Um, I actually had hoped that would be in my 2022 empties and it didn't quite make it so hopefully I can finish that quite quickly and then I want to pick one more. I have actually used a little bit of this. I started using that as my exfoliating cleanser last year at a point just to try and use it up because I had that quantity goal last year so I feel like there's not much left in this so I may as well just actually similar to the Clarins one try and finish that up but again I feel like there's not a lot left in that so I'll probably just keep one more down just so I don't run out and I think I'll go for this from Fresh, the Soy Face Cleanser. It's a 50ml so it's not too big so I feel like the good thing about most of these is whichever one I've got to by the time I'm going on my holidays this year, none of them are huge for packing, for travelling. And yeah, so that if I finish all of them, that's three there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That would actually be eleven finished so... That would definitely take me into single figures for my cleansers and I think that'll be my big cleanser goal this year. I have five toners. The only one that's particularly old is this Kiehl's one. That is from 2016 but I actually really like it. It's just that I only ever use it in summer when I'm particularly oily so I don't use a lot of it each year. But I do really like it. It's not sitting here because... I don't like it or because I've had so many toners that I've just not got round to it and it's been the last one in anything. And then actually in contrast to a lot of my other categories, the other four all came to me in 2022 and I don't think I actually bought any of them. I think they were all in beauty boxes or gifts with purchases or in sets or advent calendars or you know, whatever it was. I could definitely finish the Dr. Robux and the Rose Ink and the Votary ones this year. I feel like the three of them could definitely go. Whether I could finish the three of them and the Wren, I don't quite know. I'm quite aware as well, like I'm just slightly wary of over exfoliating because I feel like I've got 
toners like these ones that have got glycolic acid and AHAs or whatever and then I've also got like exfoliating masks and then I've got proper sort of exfoliators and peels and retinols which are also kind of doing the same thing in a way and it's you know I'm slightly wary of over exfoliating which is why I sometimes don't go through categories quite as quickly even when there's not as many products in them. So yeah, I'm not sure if I could finish the four other ones. I definitely won't finish the Kiehl's one in one summer, I know that, but I will keep it down because I will want to use it in summer. And then of the other four, I feel like I could finish three of the four. So that's going to be my aim is to finish the Dr. Robux, the Rose Ink and the Votary. Essence is another category that is under control. I only have one. I've repurchased this several times and would continue to do so. So when I finish this, I'll replace it with the same thing. Perfectly happy for that to be the case. I just don't want it to grow past one. For serums, I have 14. Now, I do have, I got a backup of my Kiehl's Hydro Plump for Christmas, which was very useful because I know I'll go through that. And then these two are a full size and a mini of the Fresh Rose. I have four that are two the same. Does that make sense? So I have four that are actually just two types of serum, but just I have doublers of them for whatever reason. And then, well, technically I have doubler of the Purple Strength Line Concentrate as well, but I have one full size and one um, little sample size. But I feel like I can actually finish most of these this year. The only There's only two that I think I would need to make a sort of effort to use that I wouldn't just naturally move through. Fresh Rose one, so you can see that's how much... I have out of that. I think I might put this in my project pan this year just to make sure that I use it. I actually do enjoy it. I just don't need a lot of it. It's very, very rich and my skin is quite oily. But I am aware because I don't need a lot of it, this is the oldest one in my collection. It's from 2021. I would have been further through this, but if you watched me last year, you might remember this one, as you can see from the markings, was in my project pan. It was in my 13 by Halloween project pan. The reason I put this in is because I did think I might have finished it last year, but I think I said at the time when I put this into my project pan that even this little mini I knew would take me ages to use. It's a 20ml. The full size there is 100ml, so you've seen how much of that I've got left. And this 20ml, as you can see from those markings, it was in a four month long project pan and I've still not even finished it when the four month project pan ended at Halloween. So I had another two months after that of using this and still haven't actually emptied it out. So I, would, I do want to empty this one out first because obviously I've got so little product there. But having said that, that's probably about a month's worth of use on this product. So I do want to finish that one first just because it makes more sense to finish that completely but I'm aware given how long it takes to use that if I don't maybe make an effort to monitor myself and make sure that I'm reaching for this that I will probably have this for about 10 years. So I think I'm going to put this one in my project pan this year to try and make sure I'm getting some use out of it. Even in a project pan, I don't know if I'm going to finish that this year, but I feel like I will make a good dent on it at least. And the other one is this one from Sunday Riley. I got this in 2022, but I think you can see that's been Christmas packaging. So I think this came in a John Lewis box or something, but I pr presume if I've got it in 2022, that it has been left over from Christmas 2021. So again, probably one of the older ones. I suppose you never know how long something's been on a shelf or in a warehouse before it's reached you generally. I think it's safe to assume this is definitely at the older end of the scale in comparison to some of the others. But again, because Good Jeans is a glycolic treatment, it's just what I said about the toners. I'm sometimes a little bit wary of over exfoliating and I maybe don't reach for this. So I think this one I need to try and make an effort to you know, maybe make it on my weekly to-do list alongside, you know. Sunday afternoons tend to be when I, you know, move the furniture to Hoover and change the bed and put the bedding in for washing and everything. So maybe on that day, I just also need to make that my good jeans day to make sure that I am using that. But I feel like the rest of them are just daily serums that, although there's quite a lot of them at the start of this year, I do think I'll probably use them all up this year. So other than the Fresh Rose and the Sunday Riley good jeans, I'm not particularly bothered about any of these. I'm not worried. I think I'll move through them all naturally. So although it's quite a big category, I'm not too worried. I have four facial oils. Now, these two came to me in 2022, so I'm not too worried about these. As I just said with serums, I feel like I want to use that Fresh Rose one, and that's an oil and serum, so 
whether I'd be using that and getting through facial oils or not, I don't quite know. In terms of trying to hit a value-based goal this year, which I will be trying to do, this is the most expensive one. This is worth $93 actually, so I definitely do actually want to try and finish that this year, as well as making a good impact into that rose serum. So I'll maybe put this one into storage. Then these two I have had since 2017. So it's definitely time to try and use these two up. I feel like I'm quite happy with these two because of the age of them. If I don't want to put these in my face, I'm quite happy to use them up either as body oils or in the last like week or so I've been using this one. This is actually a roller ball. Um, I hadn't even opened it to find that out until the other week there. So I've actually been using that around my cuticles and I think what I'll maybe do is take that into work and use it in that capacity, just have it sitting in my desk, use it around my cuticles the way that I would use hand cream usually. So I'll use that one that way and then possibly use this one the same way or use it as a body oil. Or somebody actually left me a comment to say that old facial oils feel amazing on the feet, so I might even use it as a foot oil. A little bit decadent, but you know, it's what it is, we're trying to get stuff used up. So yeah, I feel like these three are what I would like to finish this year and... I'm going to put this one into storage. I have got seven retinol products. Again, this is something I move through slowly and it's just again because it's like if I use good jeans one night and then an AHA exfoliator the next day, do I really want to put a retinol on my face on day three? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's finding that balance. My skin is quite sensitive, but I do want to try and make more of an effort to move through these. These are the two oldest ones. So as you can see, I do use this and I like my skin when I use this. I'm just wary of using too many things like that so this is a normal retinol that you would use at night but this one is upside down a retinol with spf so it's a daytime one very very wary of that even though it's got the spf in it but it is what it is i'm going to definitely try and use that as my nighttime one and that is my daytime one you know even if i use it once a week or something i would like to finish those two this year because that one has had decent use out of it I'm kind of hoping I can finish that and another few this year. Now this is the most expensive one is the Medicaid one because obviously it's the full sized but overall I would probably be better trying to just finish some of the other minis. So all of the other minis, this one's 9.5 mils but it's actually worth $58.58 so we'll try and use that one I think. <laughs> then after that the next one Omravitsa Midnight Renewal is worth $33.33 .33. that's that one. Definitely try and use those ones up that leaves me those three and you know what I'll just I'll keep these other two minis and we'll try and finish. Is that a bit much? Well they're all small so we'll try and finish these ones this year or at least definitely finish these three and see where we are for next year but that would mean I've only got one in storage anyway so as long as I don't accumulate any more of them I would only be starting next year with one and maybe whatever minis I don't finish this year so I feel like it would be in an okay position for next year if I use these ones this year. On to eye products so I have 14 of these but if I actually break this down so the layout of this might look a bit strange but there is method to it. These four here are one-time use treatments. These one, two, three, four, five are five treatments that are not one-time use. Then up in this top row here, I've got two just kind of normal eye creams, two retinol eye creams, and one eye SPF. So my point here is that although I've got 14, I've not actually got that many like daily eye creams. A lot of them are treatments. And don't get me wrong, the likes of this Clarins one, you can see I have cut that open because it's nearly done. But if I put that on my eyes at night, I'm not putting that over the top of one of them. So I'm not using them. I am using them in place of eye creams when I'm using them, these treatment products. But they're all sort of doing different jobs. So I actually feel quite confident that I could use all of these this year. And then in terms of this category, I really, really like having this Clarins one. That was a repurchase. Whenever my eczema is really flared up, this is just a super gentle, super hydrating eye mask. So... I would definitely always like to have that in stock. Then like a normal eye cream and a retinol is probably quite a good thing to have in stock. An eye SPF I think is actually something I need to pay more attention to. I'm quite wary of using retinols. As I said, my skin's quite sensitive anyway, but my eyes are like another level of sensitive. But I'm also quite aware of the way that my eyes are aging and the lines around them because my skin there is so sensitive and because I've got eczema there. It's been one of the first areas to really 
start showing signs of aging and because of my eye shape as well I've got a whole playlist that I will link on different eye treatments that I am trying but obviously alongside bigger treatments like fillers or Botox or whatever my daily skincare is going to make a much bigger difference so I do probably want to start being a bit more diligent about using proper retinols and anti-aging things around the eye but I'm quite wary of it at the moment and it's because my eyes water so much when I take SPF up next to them so I feel like an eye specific SPF isn't a bad thing to have in my arsenal and then like these are good for you know before a night out or something like that so they are just a kind of indulgence i would like to not have this category be up at 14 again i would like to definitely have it in single figures but because it is all types of eye products if i got myself to a place where i kind of had a couple of like eye patches in stock for before big events and whatever this Clarins mask a normal eye cream a retinol eye cream and an spf in stock i'd be okay with that i feel like that would be quite under control for this full category so i'm not trying to get this down to only being one product anyway but i do think in terms of what's actually here i could try and finish all of that this year on to moisturizers now i have 19 so obviously this is quite a big category but i feel like i could do a really good job in getting through these this year i mean if you look at them although there's 19 there's not that many full sized first of all what i'm going to do is actually pull out all the ones that i got in 2022 so the newest ones okay so i've done that this is the 2022 edit that means that everything here is older all these older ones the newest one is this i got a dr jart set at christmas 2020 so i have been using this you know you can see this the tube has been squeezed at the top but this is quite rich i wouldn't use this all over my face i tend to use this around my eyes when my eczema has flared up or i've actually been using it over the new year period when i wasn't very well and my skin had got quite dried out with not being well and constantly blowing my nose and whatever so i feel like this is almost more of like a treatment product so i wouldn't expect to finish this by this time anyway in a kind of similar vein this is also a sort of treatment product for me kills centella recovery skin salve again any sort of cuts grazes you know if you were a man and you shaved your face or if you shave your face at all some women obviously also shave their faces but if you've got you know any kind of sensitivity like that any burns anything like that this is great and i've not got very much of this left so Again, I think I will finish that quite naturally just with anything that kind of comes up this year. Those two I'm not too worried about, but these ones are ones that I really should have finished by now in terms of the age of them. I've not ever opened this, it's still in its box, so I need to actually test that and just make sure that it's all right. So I'll prioritise that one. I've never actually opened this, but I will use this in the summer. So I will put that aside as well. So that can be my sort of immediate quarter one moisturiser that can be my high summer moisturizer these ones i feel like i haven't disliked them enough to declutter them but i haven't loved any of them either certainly that's the case for these three i feel like this one i just kept putting off because i had minis to use and this is such a big tub it's 125 ml you get in this and i do really like this but i'm now like this is a tub and obviously that's the sort of least hygienic packaging for these to be in so I don't even know if I want to use this on my face anymore I do want to use it up but I'll maybe kind of keep this to my sort of chest and neck so I'll use that one that way and then these three are now so old I feel like I'll probably use them more as body products almost so I feel like I've got two treatment products three body products two moisturizers and one sort of neck moisturizer but i feel like i can finish all of them in that in those capacities this year over here i've actually already i've been using that for the last month again i was hoping to get that into my 2022 empties didn't quite make it but definitely could finish that this month so put that in i have also been using this so i may as well finish that one off i'm just quite aware i feel like having two kind of normal moisturizers is not that much so and those two barely count because they're going to be really easy to finish i'm really keen to try the lumiere and i want to in a way try that when it's as fresh as possible i've not had anything from lumiere in years so i want to see if it's as good as i remember and i'm also really keen to try this from tatcha the dewy skin cream so i will keep those ones down i feel like these minis really just last a couple of weeks so i might also keep down keels and the sunday riley and then i will put these into storage i have six spfs now this medicate one 
I'm not getting anything out when I actually press it down anymore so I'm going to need to cut that open so that's basically kind of not even up for consideration really. The Garnier Over Makeup Spray is a slightly different thing as well, I would use that um, as a top up during the day. So I've really only got four that I would put on kind of in the morning as my base SPF so I feel like that's one per quarter so I feel like I can finish all of these this year without any bother. I have 39 face masks, now this is a category that I always feel is higher than I would like it to be and I kind of said this about hair care in some of the categories I think the reason for that especially if you look at how many full sizes there are here versus minis is because face masks tend to end up in beauty boxes advent calendars gift with purchases all that kind of stuff because they suit a lot of people so they're quite a safe thing to gift out so I don't think it's necessarily that I have been buying loads of face masks, it's that I seem to accumulate them without me necessarily spending my own money on them. But regardless of how they come in, it's a category that is just always seems to be bigger than I would like it to be. Now in terms of setting a usage goal, I definitely want to keep all my sizzly masks down because they are going to be the highest value ones. So having put them to one side, the next thing I'd really like to use, I think again, I might put this in my project pan. Origins Clear Improvement Masks. Don't even like to think about how old this is. So I definitely want to get rid of that this year, but I feel like I always reach for other masks over this one. I don't dislike it enough to declutter it. I do want to get the use out of it, but I think that's not going to happen unless I put it in a project. So I think this will be a project pan item. And once I finish that one, I would really like to finish this. You can see here, there's obviously been an update to the packaging. So this and this are from the old packaging. So definitely want to finish those two. Another mask that I want to keep down is the Origins Out of Trouble mask. So as you can see, this has had a lot of use. So what I use this for is if I've got a breakout coming and it's under the surface of the skin and my skin's quite kind of tender, this tends to help bring the spots out to the surface, get ahead on them so that I can then get on with getting them moved out. So it's quite a specific use that I use this for, but it's the best thing I've found for the job. So we've got the Sizzly ones, three of the Origins ones. In terms of that packaging update, we can see the same thing here. So this is obviously older, so I'm going to keep that one down as well, just try and get it knocked out. I don't know whether to try and knock out a whole load of the minis. This is quite old but I've actually used quite a lot of this so I'm going to keep this one down because I feel like I can finish that. I think alongside it I will keep down this little mini of the same mask. This one which I've had for a while and this actually came out of the loft. It was in storage all last year so I definitely just want to knock that one out. I know a lot of these things I've had for more than a year but I really want to be at a point where I don't have things for more than a year. Especially not minis. I just feel like they should be coming in and going out reasonably quickly. These three came in, these were a gift with purchase earlier this year when I got some replacements but I have been using this one, the avocado one, so I definitely could finish that because there's only a few uses left in it. So in terms of what I've got here, so that's like hydrating and firming, that's two the same, that's a clay mask, clay, hydration, anti-pollution, a spot mask, hydration again essentially, and hydration and firming. So in terms of what's left here, I feel like I don't have anything that's sort of brightening, you know, not quite a peel, but you know, like a sort of illuminating mask. So I think for that, I will keep the Oscar Renaissance mask down. And then, do you know, actually I've started, well, not started, I had that in my 12 pans of Christmas 2021. Very, very nearly done. I kind of then put it on the back burner all year last year after that. So I could definitely finish this. So I'll keep that one down. But to go back to the sort of brightening peel masks, I've got this Ren One Minute Flash Facial, so I'll keep that one down, I think. And I will also keep down the Elmis Papaya Enzyme Peel. Um, then looking at what's left, I may as well keep this Mask Miser down. I feel like this is a bit of a gimmick and I think actually I'll probably end up just taking that into work and using it more as a hydrating facial spray rather than a pre-mask spray, but I'm going to keep that down and try and get that knocked out. So in terms of what's left there, I have used these two and as I said with the moisturiser, was it the moisturiser I was talking about? I'm sure it was, but basically these are in tubs. So once these have been open, you know, bacteria is getting in and they start going off and they've been exposed and whatever. So I feel like I'd like to just finish these two off because of the the fact they're in tubs. 
Um, so yeah, that leaves, so how many is that that I'm keeping down? 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I've got 20 that I'm keeping down this year that I'm going to try and use and I will put the rest of these into storage. I have 21 sheet masks. I feel like I'm quite guilty with sheet masks because they are sealed and they're a single use product and whatever of thinking that I can kind of keep them for forever and they'll never go off, which is obviously not the case. So I definitely need to prioritize some of my older sheet masks this year. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep them all down and try and use as many of them as possible this year. But I definitely want the emphasis to be on using some of these though, so. So although I would like to use these, the ones in tubs are the priority. I have three treatment products. They're all spot related. So this one is patches that you put on to keep a spot kind of clean and covered for me, stop myself picking at it basically. And then these two are spot gels. Well, this one's a gel, this one's more of a paste almost, but like on the spot products. I feel like I'll just keep all three of them down this year. They're something that I kind of use on an ad hoc basis, you know, they're not part of my core routine. I'm only reaching for them if I've got particularly bad spots. So yeah, I'm not going to put a goal on trying to finish them up or anything like that, but I'll just keep access to all three of them and I'll finish these when I finish them. I'm not worried about the category, it's not as if it's huge and out of control, so it is what it is. On to peels and exfoliators. I have been using this one in the shower for about three years now. I don't actually do a manual scrub all that often. This has been lasting a while but I feel like this year could be its final goodbye so I'll keep that one down. These two are one use sort of treatment peel products so I will keep them down because I definitely want to get them knocked out this year. I've also had a few times that I've used this from Kate Somerville. This is amazing like honestly of all these products this is the one that I sort of see and feel the biggest difference with. The only thing I would say with this is it's so effective you're only supposed to leave it on for whatever the the time is like two minutes or something. One of the times that I used this I left it on for a little bit too long and I properly like felt that it had damaged my skin by leaving it on too long so definitely one that you have to follow the instructions with but I absolutely love this I think it's great I have been using it and I think it's probably only one or two uses left so I will keep that down then in terms of what else is going on I've started using this so this has been open so I may as well keep this one down the Paula's Choice 2% BHA I've got quite oily skin so I like having something that is specifically a BHA. I feel like these are one use only, so I'll maybe keep these as well, the Dr. Dennis Gross um, daily peel pads. So I've got both the normal and the extra strength ones there. And I feel like I would maybe use these in place of where I might have used that if I was going on like out for the night or something and I wanted to do a bit of a treatment beforehand, they would fill the same sort of gap. Those two fill the same sort of gap and then this is like a liquid exfoliating toner but a bit more intensive than the ones that are in the toner category just to make it a little bit more confusing. So yeah I've got two scrubs, four treatments and one liquid exfoliator. I think that'll do for now. As I've said multiple times I'm a bit wary of over exfoliating so these aren't products that I go through particularly quickly so I think that'll do for this year and I will put these ones into storage. Facial spray, I only have one worth $20 and I'd like to try and finish that this year. On to body products, I've got one body scrub. Like many of the categories down to those low numbers, if I was to finish this one up, I would replace it so the actual quantity shouldn't go down but I wouldn't like it to grow past having just one. So that's the goal for body scrubs is to keep it where it is. On to body wash, I have two but I definitely want to try and use those face cleansers up first so they're the priority and then whatever I get used after that I'm not too worried because I feel like I'd rather get the face cleansers knocked out and I know I can finish these really easily next year anyway once I'm back to using these as my main form of body wash so if I finish them both this year then that's great. I would like to only maybe have one in this category so ideally if I could finish the face washes and then finish one of these that would be ideal so that I only had one for next year but if I go into next year with two it's fine I would rather get the face washes used up first. On to bath products I think the only holiday that I'm going on this year where I'm going to have access to a bath is my Alaska cruise so I don't know what's really realistic I definitely I feel like these three are my priority so I had that last year and it's I've taken it away 
and it's been open so I feel like it's it's nearly done I'll probably get maybe two more baths out of it this one I thought I would finish in Dublin but the hotel room we got did not have a bath so I didn't get to do that that's a bubble bar I think there's maybe two baths left in that and then one of the guys in my work really sweetly got me this for Christmas which was very unexpected but very nice of him and I feel like as well because it's a bath bomb you kind of want to use it when it's you know at its most fizzy and whatever so I feel like those ones are my priority that was a Christmas gift as well but they're all like cellophane wrapped so I feel like they're not wet although the lush ones are in little bags they're still to an extent exposed to air so I feel like I'll prioritise these three if I get anywhere before Alaska and then I feel like with Alaska if I don't get anywhere with a bath before then it'll be these three and then probably these just because they're a one use product and I don't need to bother making space to bring it back and whatever if I take it on holiday so ideally I would love at the end of the year if I was left with just these two um, that would be great but it'll just be kind of down to circumstance because I don't have a bath in the house so using these products is very much reliant on going on holiday and having a bath on holiday and more and more hotel rooms do not have baths so it's not always the easiest thing it's not always guaranteed that's why I don't really buy bath products these do tend to be things that I get as gifts and in beauty boxes or whatever it's not a category that I ever add to myself but it is the sort of thing that you do get as a gift so if I get the chance to use some of them up this year I would really like to do that I have one body mask now I have had this since the start of like doing my first no buy year in 2018 so I've had it for a very long time I feel like this is the sort of thing that sounds like a really nice indulgent idea but then realistically if you cover your body in this at home like rather than in a spa setting where you're maybe on like a heated bed or whatever and it doesn't really matter if the mask goes anywhere or whatever because it's not for you to clean up and um, so the reality of using this at home is that you cover yourself in it and then just have to sort of stand in the shower um, so it's not a very glamorous or relaxing thing to actually use at home. I want to use it rather than just decluttering it. I do want to use it up so I'll need to make more of an effort with this this year. This could be a contender for a project pan actually just in terms of trying to kind of make the active choice of using it so very much possibly a project pan item. Something that I would like to actually finally get the use of this year and work out of my collection and then I would like to not buy any more body masks because, as I just said, they're not actually a very relaxing experience at home. So for body moisturisers, I have 13. First and foremost, in terms of the value, this is the most expensive one. This is the Sizzly White Ginger Contouring Oil and it's also quite nearly done. So definitely going to try and keep that down and finish that one this year. This one I am going to keep down because it's actually broken. Wait, I'll show you. So the actual thing for the pump has come off. So I'm just having to squeeze it out. Actually quite difficult and I'm really not enjoying it. So I just kind of want this one to be done. This one is a stretch mark minimizer. I don't know why I ever bought that. But I've got it and I'm going to use it up. It's also quite an expensive one in terms of the value. So we'll finish that. This one I have also used a lot out of. This is very, very nearly done. So I will keep that one down. And then in a similar vein, this is another sort of sleeping one. Um, I have to be quite careful with this because above my chest this makes me quite spotty and um, it's got lavender essential oils in it which I have a bit of an issue with so I can only really use this on my legs but I do want to try and just actually use it up and get it moved out so that's two sort of sleepy ones and then three normal ones I definitely feel like I could especially like that sizzly one has got so much out of it I could definitely add in a couple more at least this is obviously the biggest one so I think maybe I'd be better leaving that one these are the oldest ones in fact you know what I'll do is I'll leave I've used that a few times already as you can maybe kind of tell it's one of the lush massage bars I will leave that one down I think and try and use that one up I feel like I don't I don't love using them. I had one in my 12 pans of Christmas project pan last year so what I'll probably end up doing is using these up maybe I'll put one in my 12 pans of Christmas every year or like another equivalent sort of short term project pan or the fact I have three of them maybe I could put it in my main project pan and do it as a like a rolling item so that when I finish one I roll the next one in um, because they are the oldest so I definitely that's the ones that would make most sense to to move out and then to put these into storage so I think I'll put that one into storage this one into storage and this one into storage then I think I might keep this one down just because if you can see I have used a reasonable amount of that so 
I might just try and finish that one out. And these four into storage and try and finish these ones alongside also trying to use some of those face moisturisers that I said I would use on my body. So I will have a very moisturised body this year but worth the hassle of being always a little bit moist when I get the, the credit for my empties. So that's the thought process. I'm keeping quite a lot of these down but hopefully we can get through them all. On to hand creams. Now I've got six but these two are both very very nearly done so I feel like I could finish both of these within the first quarter of the year. This one is also nearly done but I'll probably put it away and come back to it around Christmas time so this can maybe go in my backups box. So that would be like quarter one and quarter four. So for quarter two and three this one's just a little mini so I should hopefully be able to finish that without too much bother. This one's also quite small. This is a nail and cuticle serum and I did say I was going to try and use up some of those oils as like cuticle oils so I'll try and use them up first I think um, and then come back to this one but hopefully should still get around to this one maybe like quarter three or four so I'll keep it down I think and that leaves me that one but in terms of how quickly I think I can knock these out I definitely can knock these two out in quarter one and then this is a mini so I'm kind of hoping if I can finish like maybe like this one in January, this one in February if this lasted me like March and April and then I was going to put that one off until like maybe my 12 pounds of Christmas again actually, so like October, November, December, that I would finish this in between. So I think I'll, I'll just keep all of them down and hope that I would like to have finished all of them by next year. I would like to always have a hand cream, I feel like it's a good thing to just have on my desk at work and whatever, so, so as a category I feel like I would like to get it down to having two in it, one for work, one for home, and I would be perfectly happy with that, so it's not a category that I'm looking to empty out altogether but I definitely would like it to be down at the two foot products I have got two and I'm really really happy with this category so I've got one foot peel when I finish that I would get another one and um, I really like having one of these too and I kind of use maybe one every sort of two to three months maybe like four a year just to get my feet kind of properly back to like baby feet I find these just so effective absolutely love them and then this is really good I was I was not expecting to like this as much as I do I don't know what the price of this is to buy if you're not a beauty pie member and I would need to look into what that difference in price is versus what it is to pay for a beauty pie membership and whatever but this is I really really enjoyed using this and I never thought that I'd be that enthusiastic about a foot cream like from the first time I used it I could see a difference in my feet so yeah really really like this in more general terms I think this category is where I would like it to be is that I would have a sort of exfoliating product and a moisturising product in my in my collection at all times. Now in terms of this year as I said I've got a couple of those oils and moisturisers that are maybe possibly a little bit too old might react with my face skin if I was to use it there so I may well be using some of them on my feet so I don't know whether I'll actually finish this particular one this year because I'd rather try and knock them out because they're older and then come back to this because this is quite a new product in my collection but I definitely will use this one up this year the glycolic peel from Beauty Pie but I'll replace it with the equivalent product from somewhere else so yeah, no real kind of goals or complaints on this category, like just, I don't want it to grow past having like one exfoliator and one moisturiser at any one time, but I'm happy with it being where it is. And for the last category, I've got four sashes, which I will definitely use this year. I might try and keep them for, I'm going to Dublin for an overnight at the end of February, so I'll probably try and keep these three, the mask, the serum and the eye cream for that. Uh, maybe not so much the hand cream, I'll maybe just try and use that up. But I'm not worried about sashes, like, I know I'll use them up without any real problem. So now that you've seen category by category the products that I want to use up this year, to talk more in general overall goals, as I said in my last video, which was my 2023 inventory, my opening total for skincare is that my skincare is worth $5,155.79. And that is across 206 items. Now I have said consistently after doing my big quantity goal last year in terms of using stuff up that I wanted this year to be more about rotating and um, but that's much more applicable for makeup than it is for skincare so actually I want to be really sort of tunnel visioned and use up a lot of skincare this year. Now I'm not doing a quantity goal this year, I am doing a value goal which in theory could actually work out to be less products to use 
to bring that value down as long as I pick the high value items. So as I said, my starting value is $5,155.79. So at first I thought I want to use the excess of $3,000, so I want to use $2,155.79. But then I thought that's not, that might take me down that I've used the excess of $3,000, but I know a, things will come into my life this year. I feel like that is something I have really realised over the past few years is that even when you're not actively buying stuff, which I am doing a no-buy year in 2023, and although I'm doing my no-buy year this year, I am going to keep up my Liberty Beauty boxes. So I do have, I am going to do, do a video on why I'm doing a no-buy this year, outlining the goals of my no-buy, the rules of my no-buy, a video on my budget this year because as well as my no buy project I'm doing a budget project and I will do a video on my 2023 overall beauty goals and plans so I'll go more into, into depth in those videos about that but I am keeping my Liberty subscription up so I know that I'm definitely going to have skincare coming in from there and it will come in just as like gifts with purchase if I'm buying replacement things this year or even just samples not even a gift with purchase but like free samples with your orders I know skincare is going to come in and I also know that as you saw going through that there are certain categories in my skincare inventory that are pretty under control so although I might use up the item I would replace it with something similar which means that although if I use up the excess of $3,000 worth of product I'm not going to end up with my inventory being worth $3,000 because if I buy a replacement that overall value for my inventory worth doesn't dip although the empties stack up, the inventory stays the same. So I, I hope that makes sense. Also, I'm really sorry. I have had this sore throat since, like I got it on the way back from London. I think I caught it on the plane and I have still not shaken it. So I'm really sorry if my voice is dreadful to listen to. So going at first from saying 2,155.79, I have decided to add another $500 to that and actually set my usage goal this year for skincare as $2,655.79. So that in theory should bring my inventory, if I was to just take off everything that I used up, it would bring my inventory down to $2,500. But that also leaves me that $500 leeway for replacements because I would really like my skincare inventory to be worth $3,000 or less by the end of this year. So that is the plan is use up just over $2,500 worth of stuff and use up enough excess that when I am bringing replacements in for certain categories, it shouldn't be pushing my inventory up to over 3,000 by the end of the year. So fingers crossed, that is the main goal. Now, although that's my main goal and that's values based, I do have a sort of a quantity goal. And that is that for certain categories, which are currently in double figures, so that is cleanser, serum, eye cream, moisturizer, peels and exfoliators, and body moisturiser, all of which are in double figures. I would like all of those categories to be in single figures by the end of the year. I think that's doable and I don't think I should have to actually be focused on achieving that. I think it should happen naturally with what I've pulled out to use during this video, but I'm specifically saying that, that those categories I want into single figures by next year. Then a lot of the categories are in single figures. So the only two exceptions are masks. Face masks, I am opening 2023 with 39. And for sheet masks, I am opening with 21. Now, for sheet masks, I could see it that I should be able to get that from 21 down into single figures. But for face masks that are in tubs, being at 39, that's my priority. And I would rather use them than the sheet masks. So that's why I'm not going to set that quantity goal on sheet masks, like if I did manage to bring them down to single figures, I'd be really happy. But I don't want to achieve that at the expense of concentrating on my actual face masks, which is by far the highest category quantity-wise within my skincare inventory. A lot of it is minis and a lot of it is samples. But what that also means is that if I'm starting with 39 and I've pulled out 20 in this video to try and use, which I would really like to because in theory, that would mean I would have less than half next year as I started with this year because it would mean next year in theory I was starting with 19. I know that face masks are one of those things that you get in beauty boxes and gifts with purchases as samples because they're quite generic and they're easy to gift out and that's why 
that category is still so high years on from me trying to take control of my spending and of my usage and taking inventory and things which I started doing in 2018. So it has taken quite a long time to get a lot of those other categories down to being single figure categories and categories that I think are under control but face masks and cleansers are two categories that I have particularly identified along with moisturisers to an extent that is a bit more generic that you get these samples and these free gifts of. Now moisturiser is an everyday product so I feel like I work through them more quickly so I'm not concerned about moisturiser as such whereas face masks I feel like you have to decide oh, I'm going to use a face mask today and cleansing as well with moisturiser you use it every day it de I definitely had too many and that's why I've had to pull some out in this video and say I'm going to use these as body cleansers just to try and get them moving through and moving down if I had samples coming in it wouldn't worry me too much because once that category is under control if I get those samples they'll get used they'll get moved out then the replacement would come in whereas I feel like for face masks if I don't make an active effort to use them, it could go up and up and up and up. So I do want to put the emphasis on those face masks rather than the sheet masks. And ideally, I would love it if I had less than 20 face masks next year, which in theory, starting with 39, aiming to use 20, should happen. But I know that I will get samples and whatever in this year, so I'll just need to cross those bridges as I come to them. But anyway, I think my voice has reached... The end of its tether so we're going to leave this video here. I did also film my skincare setup for this year which I'd originally planned to put in this video but this video is obviously quite long as it is so I decided we'll move that to a separate video. So Wednesday's video will be my beauty setup, me like picking out from within those categories of what I want to use up, picking out what I want immediate access to, what I'm going to try and use in like quarter one, quarter two, what I'm putting on the back burner, what's going into my daily skincare routine, where I'm storing things, all that kind of stuff. So do look out for that video on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching this one and I will see you on Wednesday evening at six o'clock. Bye.